Hello YouTube. Um, I saved this from a skip. It's a Husky Peltier Cooler type fridge. And I wondered whether it was worth stripping it down for parts or trying to get it going. I decided I want to get this one going. Uh, it's got two large fans to get rid of the heat. It's got a very, very large heat sink. Sorry, I'm using the uh, light from my phone because this room is poor. Um, a very large heat sink uh, to get rid of the heat. Um, about 6 inches by 6 inches, 150 by 150. Circuit board on top. Uh, Peltier element is in between there somewhere. And obviously it's got lights and, and a thermostat on it as well. Now, my question is regarding the electronics. Now, I'm not very good with electronics, but I just want to show you this capacitor down here. Try and get some light in there. This capacitor's gone pop. And this capacitor up here, where this was, had gone pop. So I've taken that one out. And I don't know whether I'm right in saying, but the capacitor that I took out, where is it? There, is a 200 volt, 100 microfarad capacitor. Now, would that have any bearing on how it failed? I mean, if they put in a higher rated capacitor, like a 250 volt capacitor, would it have stopped this from happening? So I have a couple of spare ones that I purchased on online, 250 volt, 100 microfarad capacitor, which I'm going to be putting in maybe at the weekend, to see if I can get this to well to work. But my question is, if both capacitors have failed, would it have stopped the operation of this, uh, this fridge, this item, the electronics in general, or would it have just run, say, a bit more lumpy? So I'm not sure. So at the weekend, I'm going to do another video. Um, I'll hope, hopefully, before then, some of you can give me some feedback on whether it's actually worth trying the capacitors. No, it's too late. I've got them anyway. But um. Uh, the, the other point I have is, the uh, other fridge that I got, the Peltier cooler fridge that I saved from a skip, was thrown out because it wasn't working. And what it turned out was, the heat sink had completely clogged up with dust, and it couldn't get rid of the heat. So once I'd cleaned out the dust from the heat sink, it worked perfectly. Now this one's more, uh, got more bells and whistles, so I don't know whether this is going to work or not. But, you know, for a couple of pounds, we can get this um, glass funded husky or hesky fridge going again now, I don't know let me know what you think husky yeah it's a glass fronted fridge it's in poor condition it's been outside maybe for, you know, it's got a bit of rust and dented it's, been, it's come from a school so it's been battered but yeah if, if anyone could let me know what they think whether it's worth changing them whether it will work or not just let us know in the comments and um, I'll see you when I put the uh, next video up